It's time for Happy Tappy Home Tips. I am so happy about this. With Luke Tappy of Davis and Freeze Realtors. I'm so happy. On 97.9 Kick FM. Oh, that's right. It is a Monday, and you know what time that means. we got to bring in our real estate expert, Luke Tappy from Davis and Freeze. Hello, Luke. Hello. Good morning, you guys. we got to stop talking about uh, tiramisu, and we got to focus <laughs> on the market. The market. <laughs> you guys both went to tiramisu this weekend we for the uh, for, for Mother's Day. Yeah. Did you have a good Mother's Day? You know I did, and I hope, uh, Sam, how about you? It was fantastic. Yeah, good, was and I hope all the other mothers yeah. out there had a great day. I hope so as well. It was well. beautiful. It turned out to be it, it a really nice was. day. It was a gorgeous weekend. It really was. All right, so that, you know, it means good weather means people are moving. That's right. People, <laughs> and, the, and it's so true because you got to start getting ready before the next school year. You got to get those kids where they're going to be. Mm-hmm. And so if you're one of those people who's in starting the process of selling your home, what is the number one thing you can give them as advice this year? Do you just put the house in the market or you just contact your realtor? What do they need to start doing? Yeah, absolutely, you guys. I mean, there's all kinds of things that a real estate agent uh, like myself is going to be able, you know, tips and tricks uh, that we're going to be able to tell you uh, just within probably five or 10 minutes of walking through your home. I mean, we're not there to judge. We're there just to kind of give you some tips and tricks of, you know, what can go and what needs to stay. Um, You know, the importance uh, of decluttering um, and removing unneeded furniture. So let's say you have a living room. It's got two recliners, two couches, two love seats. I mean, it's just a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, you kind of want a buyer to, you know, kind of visualize their things, their personal things there. Uh, so we, we always say, you know, remove unnecessary furniture, uh, whether that means uh, renting, um, you know, a small rental uh, unit, uh, putting some of that stuff in there, or if you've, you know, got a big garage or something, um, you know, just kind of removing some of that, um, you know, remove personal photos, uh, you know, as much as people love to see your, uh, like <laughs> wedding, sit, photos. wedding photos, you Grandma know, with the cat. That's go. right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the 84 inch canvas of, of, you know, the wedding and, and the kids, yeah. uh, you know, as much as you want people to, you know, really envision themselves in your space. Yeah. So just kind of removing those. And I'm not saying every photo, you don't need to remove every photo of your, of yourselves, but just those big pieces that just kind of, um, you know, symbolize, uh, your family kind of remove those. And just so people can kind of see, uh, you know, themselves there. Well, and also it's a trick because the, you want to make your space always appear bigger and the less you have in there, the bigger those space are going to feel when people mm-hmm. walk into that living room. This is a huge living room. This yeah. is great. I'm getting so much space for the money. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially when you you, you know you know you knock out a couple of recliners that <laughs> you know were unneeded sitting there. Yeah. Um, and you know, uh, same thing with a kitchen. You guys, I mean, um, kitchens and bathrooms sell homes. So yeah. um, just making sure those two spaces are are, are you know. The kitchen counter spaces, clear them off. As much as we love your red toaster, you know, looks, put it in the cabinet. That's right. Now. Shove it away. The magic the, bullet can the be magic put away. bullet, the air fryer, yeah. you know, all of that good stuff. Um, just kind of clear your counter spaces, make it look neat, clean. Um, there's, you know, um, we're all human. So human mm-hmm. senses. I tell people when you list your home, the first thing that you want to do is is go and get some of those smell good plugins like mm-hmm. the, the wallflowers or the yeah. glade. You know, um, uh, you, you know, the first thing you want to do is kind of entice a buyer's uh, sense of smell. Um, and smell means basically you keep your home clean. Yeah. Um, so Maybe it, bake a batch of cookies before a the batch showing. of cookies or cinnamon rolls <laughs> or, you know, um, yeah, yeah. Um, just all kinds of tips and tricks. Um, you know, another thing is, is buyers, when they're walking through your home, uh, something that you don't realize a lot of times is sometimes they'll pull your furnace filter out just to see, you know, does someone oh, do something as it, easy as change their furnace filter? Uh, if they don't, do they maintain the rest of the home? Mm -hmm. Um, You know, it's just some simple things that we can come in and say, Hey, let's get rid of this and this clear the counter spaces. Let's put some of these plugins in Mm -hmm. let's, you know, kind of just do a deep cleaning, maybe shampoo carpets or mop floors, um, change light bulbs. Yeah. No, especially with this market is as hot as it is. You do those little things that it gets that home sold even quicker. If people are out there listening, Luke, and they want this level of expertise (laughs) and they want you to be the one who walks them through and help them on out. How can they find you in Davis and Freeze? Absolutely, you guys. Luke Tappy. Uh, you can uh, find us on Facebook, Davis and Freeze, uh, davisandfreeze.com. We're located right here by the Kick FM studios at 2310 Broadway. Um, or give us a call, 223-9700. We would love to help. Simple as that. Yeah. Simple as that. I will say when I was selling our house, we got a storage unit and I was like, oh, we don't need a big one. 
you don't realize how, how much, much stuff, stuff you, you have. <laughs> and then you clear it yeah. out and you're just like, wow, our house is kind of big. Yeah. You just don't realize it makes it, it look really, it makes it yeah. look really all that space. And it's always, you know, no one ever minds if there's a bunch of stuff stored in the garage because you don't, you can envision your garage. You know, you <laughs> know, you know, Absolutely. I always say like organized stuff looks yeah. better than just chaotic, chaotic. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Luke, we appreciate it. No Have problem. a great week. Try not to, uh, not, not to get, you know, too sunburnt this week. Hey, I'll try. <laughs> Out there showing all the homes. I already see the, the sunglass line. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's starting. <laughs> That's a hardworking man right there. All right, Luke Taffy, we'll talk to you next week. Don't you, go guys. anywhere. We got your feel-good story of the day on the way. Live and local, it's Mornings of Mark and Sam. On 97.9 Kick FM.